Welcome back to another video, my friends. My name is Bijan T, in case you don't already know or in case you haven't seen any of my other videos. And if you haven't seen any of my other videos, make sure you subscribe and then go watch some of those other videos after you watch this one. So in this video, we're going to be doing a quick little trade recap on a day trade that I did in which I made about a $1,200 profit with less than $4,000 invested. So let's just jump right into it here. Alrighty, so we're going to briefly be doing a quick little trade recap on this VLO trade that I did. It was, like I said, a $1,200 profit here. And let me just real briefly go over the orders for you guys here. I want to make this a quick, quick, like maybe even two, three minute video. Just a quick trade recap. So I got into the trade. I had 30 contracts. It's broken up here. I'll explain in a second. Uh, so I mainly got into it right at the borderline of 652. You can see it's 651, 57. So it was pretty much like right at the borderline. Now, the reason why it was broken up is because I placed the order for 133 and I got a partial fill because I placed the order for 30 contracts and only part of it got filled. So, and I'm just explaining this for people that don't have like any prior experience with trading. Sometimes you'll place an order because the price fluctuates and you can, you know, move your order around, but I didn't want to move my order around. I just decided to let it sit. If I got a partial fill, I got a partial fill. That was that. At least I'm in the trade. So anyways, we're just going to say I got into the trade at 652. So, I had 30 contracts. I got in at 133 each. The way options works is one is equivalent to 100. So if it shows 133, it's actually 133. So I had 30 contracts at 133 each. So if you do the math, that's 3,990. So I got into the trade for less than $4,000. So if you had $4,000, you could have placed this trade. If you had the knowledge as well, is basically what I'm trying to say. If you had the knowledge and $4,000, you could have also made $1,200 in a few hours here as well. So moving on, got in it for 3,990. Then I sold all 30 of them for 174. Some of it went for 175, but we'll just say 174 just for the benefit of the doubt here. So 30 contracts times 174 is 5,220. So subtract the cost of the trade, which was 3,990 from that you get 1,230. That's where we basically have the profit here. Just trying to explain this for anyone that might be new to this. And again, when I say we have $4,000 in the trade, it doesn't mean that we're risking $4,000 or it doesn't mean that if we're wrong, we lose $4,000. No, it just means you have to have that much money in your account to place the trade. I always use my used car example. It basically says that if you buy a used car for $4,000 thinking that you can sell it, for $5,000 and you end up being wrong, you find out maybe something's wrong with the car or you find out, oh no, it's not the model that you thought, you got the lower model, this one's only worth $3,500, well, you didn't lose all your money, just go and sell the car for $3,500, take a small loss, that's why I'm always ranting about risk management, you know, you, you guys hear that in all my other videos, I'm talking about discipline, risk management, always having a plan, so on and so forth, so, that was pretty much that there. So that's how we get all the profits. Let me go in and show it to you guys now on the chart here, just to keep it very quick and simple. So this is the 652 that I got into the trade. I anticipated the trade a little bit because my whole idea was like, all right, we broke, we're breaking this 8550 area. We're going to drop it down probably to the 8450 area easily, probably 84. That was my whole plan was 8450 to 84 was my whole uh, profit target area. So I shouldn't have gotten into the trade until it got below that, but I wanted to anticipate it a little bit. But really, it doesn't really matter. This is why I always say there's like 50 ways to make a record. There's no perfect way to do it. It doesn't matter if I got in here or if I got in down here or wherever. As long as I have a plan and I stick to the plan and my plan is proper, it has the proper risk to reward ratios and all that, then we're solid. So, and as long as it's off of proper strategies, but anyway, that's, that's besides the fact. So this is where I got into the trade right here. I had my risk right on this 86 area and it got pretty close to it. It didn't get above it or anything, but if I was here watching it, this is probably where I would have added into the trade. And I did have alerts set like right above the 86 area. Uh, and even if those alerts went off, I probably wouldn't have added into it just because I was kind of out and about as well. I don't like adding into my trades unless like I'm actually there watching it. So I figured, you know what, I'm solid at my you know position. I watched it a little bit, 
had a few of my, you know, my, my students already know. You, if you've, you've taken my course, you already know exactly like why I didn't like panic out right here or anything like that. Um, cause it did hit one of my dings. Cause the way I do it is I'll set a ding a little bit lower and then one right on the area of where I get out at. Um, uh, a few of my flashlights, as I like to say, a few of my things lined up and said, all right, we're good. You know, we haven't broken the rule yet we, or we haven't broken your risk yet. We're just getting to that risky area of like, hey, it might be time to take action. But anyways, long story short, just to wrap it up here, it didn't hit my risk area. And then we ended up going down. This right here is where I ended up taking the profit right here. I got a little bit greedy with it. I wanted to kind of see if we can get 84. It didn't. So once I kind of saw that, all right, we're holding this 84 area, kind of making our way back up a little bit. That's where I closed out the trade for about a $1,200 profit. So it was definitely more down here. But obviously, you know, what are we going to do? Get greedy, get mad, you know. No, we take your profit and move on with your day, move on with your life. So that was pretty much that, guys. Just a quick little $1,200 profit there. Took a few hours, what, like four hours there. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter how long it took, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much that guys $1,200 with less than $4,000 invested and yeah If you guys enjoyed the video just hit the thumbs up subscribe you guys know the deal Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram and Twitter who's Bijan T Make sure you guys visit our website I'll put the link in the description below and I'll talk to you guys in the next video